Hey everybody, it's Coach. And Mrs. Coach. And this is Coach Cast TV. And we had a suggestion mm-hmm. that came in from uh, one of the Queen fans. Yes. And they suggested that we do a video uh, called No One But You, uh, Only the Good Die Young. Ooh, okay. And I believe that this was a tribute song to Freddie after he had passed. Mm-hmm. Um, and if I'm misstating that, please feel free to correct me. Uh, but I believe that that's what this was. And so we are not going to waste any time, and we're going to get right into this. Okay. So coming up next, Queen's No One But You, Only the Good Die Young. Ooh. All right, here we go. Okay. I didn't know he could sing that well. Yeah. Uh, that was shocking. Yeah, mad respect to him. Uh, guitar, uh, just royalty on the mm-hmm. guitar, and then can play the piano, which we found out in another video. And uh, people have said that he sings. We've really mm-hmm. only heard backup. But, uh, yeah, that was that was mm-hmm. good. Uh, and... Uh, Clearly, uh, I would imagine this is a very emotional song for a lot of Queen fans. Yes. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's it's interesting how many uh, really good uh, lead singers have passed early. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got Bon Scott from ACDC. And, uh, you know, you've got uh, Freddie, of course. You've got uh, the uh, uh, NXS lead Mm -hmm. singer. I think his name was Michael Hutchins, uh, which was a great talent. And then Uh, Kurt Cobain. Everybody knows him. Yeah, there's been a lot. And uh, it's it's a shame that, uh, you know, they didn't stick around uh, longer than they did.
Roger, I've said this on another video. I think it's when we did uh, the I'm in love with my car mm -hmm. medley. But uh, he reminds me a lot of Rod Stewart, the voice. Mm -hmm. uh, he he definitely has a, just a little bit of, of graveliness to mm -hmm. it. Graveliness? Is that a word? I have no I idea. I don't think graveliness is a word, probably. But you guys know what I'm talking about. It's got a little bit of roughness. Well, this is probably one of the best tributes I've ever seen former band members play to their lead singer. This yeah. is this is just it's beautiful. And now the party must be over. I guess we we'll surprises me. Wow. That was that good. Was, that, was, that was touching. That was probably one of the best, best songs that I've heard them sing. Yeah, you they... Know, uh, they did an absolute wonderful tribute to him. Yeah, you know, uh, some people have told us recently that uh, as, as of the day we're filming this, I don't know if it'll still be going on by the time this airs, but Queen's on tour... Uh, right now with uh, their new lead singer, Adam Lambert. Mm -hmm. And I've never heard him, and it's hard to imagine uh, that, you know, they could sound the same. Uh, but at the same, and I know they don't sound the same because they don't have Freddie. Um, but, you know, it, it, these guys still got to make a living. They still want to do what they are good at. They want to do what they love. And, you know, if you look at, uh, like, and again, I'll just pull back in ACDC as an example, but if they had quit when mm -hmm. Bon Scott died, we wouldn't have a lot of their incredible yes. content now. Uh, you know, and I know that's a whole discussion for another time as far mm -hmm. as uh, some people like Bon Scott better than Brian Johnson and vice versa. Yeah. Um, and, and for those of you who might be wondering, uh, I'm a Brian Johnson guy. Uh, I like Brian Johnson a lot, and I think that uh, his sound is just incredible and unique, and Bonds was too, uh, but I'll always be, um, you know, Brian Johnson's number one and Bon Scott's 1A in my mm -hmm. book. Uh, but I can't imagine that, um, you know, anybody could elevate Queen back to the level that Freddie did, because he was just... He was a one of a kind. You can't match that. No. So... Uh, Anyway, this was a good suggestion. It was I a good loved song. It. Yes, it was. It was extremely touching. It's amazing to watch his band, his bandmates, the level of respect that they had for him. 
And they showed it with their musical talent. Yeah, and if you read our comment section, you'll realize that these guys didn't get along all the time. No, they, didn't. Uh, they had a lot of differences of opinion artistically. Yes, and uh, it, it was funny actually reading some of the comments. Mm-hmm. And I know one of the uh, comments uh, was that Roger at one point. Uh, got upset with the group and locked himself in the bathroom or something. And, uh, you know, they had to agree to get him to come out. But, uh, you know, it's it's funny, uh, you know, how you can have those differences, yes. uh, but you still realize you need that piece to make it work. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it's good to see them pay tribute to him like yes. that. And uh, we will continue to bring you Queen content. Queen fans have been mm-hmm. fantastic and have we really supported. Uh, that's right. They've yeah. really supported the channel. Mm-hmm. And uh, we will uh, be back with more Queen in the near future. Uh, in the meantime, leave us some comments and uh, also uh, throw a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel. And ring that bell. And we'll be back soon on Coach Cast TV. Mm-hmm.